Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So shout out to Nick Wright. He said, I think the Heat are going to win the Eastern Conference Finals. I understand that's controversial. I think Jimmy Butler is the best player in the series. And I think that's very important. First of all, shout out to Nick Wright. But that is why it's so important for guys like him to actually talk about the game of basketball instead of making excuses of why the Miami Heat are losing or why the Miami Heat are winning or whatever foolishness that they want to, you know, try and say about the Miami Heat. I think he's right. Jimmy Butler is the best player in the series. I think Tatum is a great player. However, can he be consistently good as Jimmy Butler? Think about it. Jimmy Butler is doing more with less. Okay? I don't care what anyone says. When you look across the NBA, Jimmy Butler is playing with eight undrafted guys on his roster. No one else is doing that in the NBA. And I understand Jimmy Butler is a great leader, and he does really rise to the occasion in the playoffs. But like I said, who is doing what he's doing? Leading this team with a bunch of undrafted guys on his back. Without Jimmy Butler, we're nothing. And the fact that we lost Tyler Hero, we lost Victor Oladipo, Jimmy Butler rolled his ankle, Bam Adebayo was dealing with hamstring injuries. It was one thing after another. Kyle Lowry, he's dealing with knee injuries. And I think that is why it's very important to have veterans on your team and Kyle Lowry and Kevin Love. They're literally showing their championship experience. They're showing their playoff leadership. They're they're showing their playoff experience. I know that the Cavs pretty much threw away Kevin Love, and he's proving why he should still be in the NBA with his floor spacing, his rebounding, his passing, his head-to-head passes. Kyle Lowry, he's hitting all these big shots. He, and 11 blocks, he's leading the team. With 11 blocks, he is playing absolutely phenomenal. And like Nick Wright said, I know it's very controversial. No one expected an 8th seed Miami Heat to beat the Milwaukee Bucks, to beat the New York Knicks, and to possibly beat the New York, to beat the Boston Celtics after we won game one. No one expected it. But when you really sit and think about it, today and this season, it could be their year. Jimmy Butler's right. We have a great opportunity to head to the NBA Finals. I know that we would either play the Lakers or the Nuggets, and we'll get there when we get there in terms of dealing with that topic. But once again, I think that Jimmy Butler, he is the best player in this series. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.